Hey, let's see what we can make with this massive maple burrow blank. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Word Working. I'm Ed, welcome to my shop. So what we've got here is a pretty large chunk of maple burl I got from um, Worldwide Burl. I'll put a link down in the description to their Instagram where you can bid on these. Um, so this is a large one and this is probably one of the more expensive pieces of wood I've turned. Uh, but anyway, it is roughly eight by six uh, inches. Uh, that is around 203 millimeters by 152 millimeters. So let's, uh, let's get this. I think because it's a little punky, it's a little soft, I'm gonna use a face plate today. Um, so let's get the face plate mounted, get it over to the lathe and let's uh, see what this wood talks to us and says it wants to be. So sit, meet you over the lathe. So this stuff is really punky and my tools are sharp, but it's just a lot of, a lot of tear out. So I think what I'm gonna wind up doing is I'm gonna get it close to the shape, but very proud of the shape. Um, and then I'm gonna try some of uh, uh, Doug's uh, at Pole Barn Productions trick of using some resin with some, um, I think he uses um, some kind of thinner um, and what it does is it, it uh, mineral spirits, um, I think it is. He lets the, uh, it, that soak in as a hardener. Um, the mineral spirits evaporates and the resin hardens. I think that's what I'm going to wind up having to do with this. All right, so what I've got is about 100 grams of resin, and, and that's aluminite clear, and about um, 20 grams of acetone. I said mineral spirits earlier, but I meant to say acetone. I'm trying to see if it's getting, if it's soaking in there well enough, or if I need to thin it out a little bit more. 
You might have to thin it out a little bit more. It seems to be. Yeah, I'm gonna thin it out just a little bit more. Alrighty, it's hard as a rock now. That's a good trick. Uh, Doug did let me know that it was Kim Tippin that told him that. So uh, credit should go to her. I'll link her YouTube channel down below also. So now what I want to do is just skim off. It bubbled up a little bit. Just skim it off. I'm going to sand it and then I'm going to start addressing some of these cracks. Now we got to address this big crack here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, this is the bottom of like a yogurt container. And uh, it's just the bottom where that groove is. And that's all I need is just a little bit. So I'm just going to hot glue a series of this these on here to just to go up the side because it's an odd shape, but that's going to be the plan. So uh, I'll stop yakking and kind of fast forward you guys through this. All right, I'll come back when I get all of this done and it's all solidified and uh, we're ready to mix up some resin. Okay, it's the next day and uh, the resin uh, is cured and now we just need to uh, get this off. Again, I could cut it with a knife. I found the easiest way is to uh, just heat up a little torch. Thank you. 
So I've got it hollowed out, and man, it was all dust. I got no shavings when I was going through with the drill bit. It just, I didn't even have to tighten the uh, tailstock down. I could just push it. It was just so loose. But anyway, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, off camera, you've already seen me um, do it to the outside. But off camera, I'm going to mix up some resin and some mineral spirits, and I am going to, or something like that, and then I'm going to coat the inside and the outside again and then leave it overnight and then tomorrow we'll tackle it. Let's talk about this. It was a lot of fun to make. It did take me a while, uh, just with all the steps and everything. It, it you know took me about a week to do it. Um, so you know probably twelve or fifteen hours of actual working time. Uh, it turned out great. Uh, things I would have done differently is um, the um, the holes and the you know just the natural inclusions inside. I would have filled them up first with the colored resin and then came uh, back with the thinned out resin. Um, a little bit of white specks in here where it filled that up and anyway, it still looks good. Uh, I, I, you know, I just, I think it uh, blends in well. Um, I'm happy with it. I hope you are. I did leave a foot on it. I thought that that uh, would look well too. But, you know, let me know, what, what would you have done? Would you put the foot on or take the foot off? I'm curious what you think. Uh, I will be putting this up on my Etsy store. I'm going to be creating one, and this will be the first thing that I put up there. I'll have a link down in the description if you would like to purchase it. 
Um, but that's up to you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. All the usual thumbs up, thumbs down, comments all help the channel out. I really would appreciate it. If this is your first time and you want to see other videos, click over here. If you want to become a subscriber, click up here. Click the bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.